Hey guys, it's Tara here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am watching Squid Game and I've just finished the first episode. I haven't even taken my headphones off. I am just gonna go straight into the second one because it was it was really good and it left me kind of really excited to see what's gonna happen next. So um, here we are. We're gonna watch Squid Game season one, episode two. Uh, and yeah, I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's see, let's see what goes on in this crazy scenario. Um, thank you for coming and I hope that you enjoy this with me and uh, yeah, if you're ready, I'm ready, let's tune in. If you're interested in watching my full length reactions, I invite you to head over to my Patreon page. There's lots of exclusive content over there, early access, I do a movie reaction journal over there, uh, you can participate in polls, and even make special requests for reactions you want to see me do on my channel. So if you want to get more involved and help support the channel, then head over there and check it out. And if you want to just keep tuning in with me here on YouTube, then that is awesome and I am happy to have you here. Oh, that's not, I didn't even think, like, what are they going to do with all those bodies? How are they going to explain that, that they're going to um, incinerate all of them, which is... All of these people that will just have disappeared from the world. That guy's kind of still alive. <gasps> they're just going to burn him alive. They're not going to try to save him. He's dead. He's out of the game. He gets burned. Wow, savage. Right at the start, they're diving in with, oh, and by the way, we're gonna burn everyone, even if they're still kind of alive. The rest of them are just absolutely shocked, traumatized. And now they have five more games. So, yeah. And they still don't know how much money they're even playing for. I <sighs> yeah, 199. Oh God, here we go again. They're terrified now. The first time they were so confident. Holy! There are only 201 players left. He's not wrong. We're not here to hurt you or collect your debt. That's not what they're there for. They're there to run this game. This is just a game. I feel like he's oversimplifying that. I forgot the rules. A player cannot stop playing. Oh, the police are not coming. You are on a weird island. Okay. <sighs> It looks like almost everyone wants to leave, but not everyone. Oh, and they're going to tell them what they're playing for, and then the other half of them is going to want to stay. I wonder why that's shaped like a pig. Oh, it's a piggy bank. Come on, Tara. Forty-five point six billion. Which I'm gonna need to figure out how much that is. Hold on, I'm gonna find out how much that is. Apparently. That's over $38 million US dollars or 47 million Canadian dollars. I mean, me personally, being the absolute chicken that I am, would I would be traumatized. I would probably not have made it through the first game, to be honest. I would have been shaking too much. But 
if I given the chance to leave now, I would leave. I have 47 million dollars would not keep me from voting to leave. But the people in this room, even if they vote to leave, if the majority doesn't vote to leave, they still have to play. But that would be a great amount of money to just win if it weren't um, at the cost of almost dying or, or going through something as crazy as this. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, he's got to vote first. <gasps> I thought he would stay. I guess he, it's no good to her if he's dead. Dead, he's really in. He's shocked by his friend's decision. He didn't even think he was in bad enough shape to be there. I guess if they live in rough neighborhoods, it's probably just as dangerous. At least they can control this to an extent if they just play the games right. There's 201 people left, so it's gonna be this last person. Player one, the old guy! And he has nothing to lose. He's staying. He's so happy to be there. He must know when he presses O, he's condemning most of the people behind him to die. But this is democracy. Oh! He pushed no! Well, now what happens? I'm so shocked. Wait, what? So they're all going home. So are they not going to tell anyone? I feel like if I were dropped off after witnessing something like that, I would go straight to the authorities and say, Hey, just so you know, there's a place. I don't know where it is, but they are gathering people there and then shooting them all. Okay, so he actually did go to the police. He's condescending him. He does look crazy. He looks disheveled and tired and freaked out. <laughs> he does sound crazy. It all sounds crazy. It's not like they're gonna answer the phone like, hello, crazy murder game. How are you? Thanks for calling. Yeah, they changed the number. Huh. Yeah, why would they keep the same number? But then how is he going to get a hold of them when he wants to play again? Or will they just come and find him? I think he knows what that is. Why is the door open? Is mom okay? She okay? Where was Wanya? The pit then and then. I'm not going to talk about some drugs. I'm 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 going to talk about some drugs. Oh no! Fish lady. Man, gambling is terrible. You really 
lose sight of everything and hurt people. Bill Deville? Yeah. <gasps> What's wrong with his mom? <gasps> oh no. Oh. Okay, she's alive. Oh. They're gonna cut off her feet? Oh my goodness. She worked so hard on her feet and what is she gonna do now? Mm. It's always about money. Everything's about money. He's made so many bad choices. So now he's committed. He's gonna go back. He has to. He has to get money for his mom and his daughter now. This is the guy from the station that recognized the symbol on the card. So he's got someone who's missing. Maybe he's gonna listen to um, our main guy. Is it his brother? Maybe? I wonder if he died in the game. The card again. He'll remember it from the station. Hmm. Aww, poor guy. Hmm. Oh, no. 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 You'd have to be a pretty good detective to find the game since it's on an island and they've clearly taken precautions to not be found. Oh, Ali. Ali is his name. Ali is his Oh, he's got a bunch of cash right there. Pay your employees. Pay your employees. It's very simple. <gasps> Whoa! Gross! Gross, 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 gross! Ew! Oh my god. Ah! <sighs> Oh, she thinks he's in America. I didn't know that. Tell her you love her. If you know you're going back in the game, tell her you love her. He didn't say you loved her. Uh oh. He is not. Oh no. He should have told her. He should have told her himself. But I understand why he didn't. She was so proud of him. He needs to go back in the game. They all need to go back in the game. That's where they were there in the first place. They targeted them because they knew they needed the game. And things are much worse for them now because not only are they destitute mostly, but now they're also super traumatized. So they're all messed up in the head. I don't know that they'll ever get right. They're just gonna need to go back to the game. Holy smokes. This person is relentless with the doorbell. Who is it? Why does he not have a peephole? Ah, oh, it's the game. Midnight, June 23rd, same as before. Good question. I'm in my course, so. You pass a lower to tell the host of the flight ticket book to Bachiko Nikolapasa. At least this time they can make arrangements before they go. 
I don't think they understood what they were in for the first time. They're all just running around trying to find any other way to make the money they need to survive. Any other way, any other option besides going back to the game. <gasps> it's number one! Yay! <laughs> Hmm. He's got food. Yum. He used to eat these, those all the time. They're so affordable. I feel like everybody eats those when they're when they're young. So crunchy. Oh, he's gonna go again. But I don't blame him. He didn't want to leave the first time. He just voted that because he didn't want to condemn everyone else. I think he was enjoying the games. I understand that. It is worse in that you cannot control the world around you at all. You can make your own choices, but the world is a pretty cruel place sometimes, especially for people who are already in such bad shape. So I understand wanting to go into the game where you can control your actions and it could actually get you somewhere for once. I like that we get to see everyone's individual stories now, all the main players in the game. I guess we're gonna see how each of them decides to go back in. Oh, oh look at that perfect family. Uh, this is his ex-wife. And he has to ask her for money. She's like, this is awkward. <laughs> Can't open the door. Aww. He's trying to pay him to go away forever? Oh, that's his daughter. Give that money back. Oh, and she saw him. It was for a good reason. Because he couldn't be bought to not be your dad anymore. She won't understand. <sighs> He's gonna believe him. Help him. Maybe they'll figure it all out. They're all waiting for the game bus. It's kind of cool because now they know everyone who's there has made the conscious decision to return even though they know everything they know they're what they're in for kind of they don't know the new the new games but they know the stakes it'll be so different this time Someone was awake. It was really dark, I couldn't see who that was, but there was someone awake in the bus. Hey everyone, so I just realized there was no sound on the outro I recorded, so I'm just going to sort of voice over what I was saying um, as I'm saying it. Okay, so I've just finished episode two of Squid Game, and this one was a little bit slower paced, 
but I think it was really important. The first one kind of started with a bang and then they sort of went back. They didn't go back in time, but they um, slowed everything down and took us into everybody's individual lives. They just sort of showed us, you know, their lives outside of the game. It kind of helped to explain why they were all in the game in the first place and just gave us some insight into who they are and just how desperate they are in their lives. And then at the end, it just kind of showed them all getting in the van to get back into the game. So I really think that this time around in the game, it's gonna feel a lot different uh, because this time everyone who's there, they know the stakes of the game. They, uh, they know what they're playing for. They just don't know what the rest of the five games actually are. So I think everybody getting back into the vans and going this time is, uh, it's just a little bit more tragic and uh, a little more meaningful. When they arrive there, they're not gonna be so confused. They're just gonna be sort of, I, I expect them to just be a bit somber and, and sort of just focused. Cause they've really gone back out into the world and sort of made the realizations that they are desperate and they do have nothing and they, they do need to be in the game. It's just really interesting to see now because when we go back in, um, we're really going to care about these people. So even though this episode wasn't as, you know, fast paced and exciting as the first episode, I do think it was really important for the whole progression of the story so that we do know these people when we go back into the game, it's gonna mean so much more. I'm excited to get back into the game. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen next. I'm really interested to know what the nature of the other games are. But yeah, I really did enjoy this episode as well. It was a lot slower than the first one, but it was absolutely necessary. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me here. Uh, I'm really grateful that everyone is here with me and has seen the video through till the end. I really am enjoying this show. I'm enjoying doing these videos. So if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more or continue on with Squid Game with me, subscribe with the button below. So thanks again, everyone, for being here, and I will see you next time.